Hi, welcome to TechCrunch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun, practice project ideas, memory gain. Today we are presenting a live demonstration of memory gain application implemented in Java AWT graphical user interface API using alphabets and colors. So this demonstration is divided into three parts, design, methods, the implementation and how to play and a live demonstration. So when it comes to the design, we are going to work on making a board using AWT because we need the front end programming and specify the colors or alphabet, any kind of input on clicking of the user and uh, score, even controls in action listener implementation and controls that how to control the input of the user when we actually play the game. Now, design basically decided with the help of the information or the specification of the game you are going to work on. Now, once the designing is done, let's see the implementation. So we need the game method, the board method and the bind buttons. Since the memory game is like when you click a button, so it has something which is same and click twice and match them together that's what the memory game is all about and that will be more clear when we actually see the demonstration and the implementation of uh, action performed method and the run game now let's see how to play when we say starting let's play these are just a button and initiating your game application now input can be done by keyboard or mouse and score will mention that how much a player earn that score while playing this game now the rules and the instruction of this game is something like where you have to click on the tiles and if it is match like edge and edge then it's score one point so you need to click once and uh, see if it is same and if it is not same then it will be invisible and you have to remember which tile has the same alphabet now to implementation with respect to the alphabet, we need the panel, the board, the frame and the tiles, these tiles, it's nothing but a kind of a button and uh, we have a button for starting the game, compare method, where we'll see when user click two tiles, it has the same alphabet or not, exit and the start. So this is how we can implement the memory game for alphabet now let's take a look for the color type of game now this is the color based memory game now what is happening in the same way we have a panel we have a button now instead of uh, tiles in memory game we have a button so the, when the user click any of the space that will convert and show the background color and that color will have the same button in another one and you need to match them and if you find it the same button then you will score one point and this is the scoreboard here you can see so this will be a one player game and uh, or you are using array list to have a random color selection and set background color will help you to have the background color now to improvise and for practice what you can do here you can use images instead of color or alphabets now let's take a look at the demonstration so this is my eclipse ide and let's take a look at the so if you see the code this is implemented in awt and this is based on the color game you see here we are creating the frame and mentioning the label and we have array list which is having the different random colors list and uh, the panel the abstract action we have a action perform method implementation here and use the collection framework to have the component execution now let's take a look at the execution so since it is a java based application so we can compile and execute it in java console so you see TechCrunch presents memory game and this is the restart button, the score and the quit in game. Uh, suppose if I click, this is blue. I'm not good in this game. So let's see. So if it is not matched, so it is popping the message saying no match. 
and it is disappeared so since this is blue and this is green you have to remember this is blue and this is blue and i matched and i scored the number points and another click this is blue and this is yellow so i'm not gonna click oh my god i got it <laughs> okay next this is red and this is red uh, i scored 29 this is yellow and oh my god this is no match so let's see this is black and this is black i scored 38 so every right click i will score plus 10 and this is green this is supposed to be green yes and uh, here you go this is yellow this is yellow so i scored 58 you see so i missed two hits so that's the reason it reduced to two points so this is how you can play this memory game for color background you can use the images behind these uh, buttons now if you want to uh, if you want to restart you can just restart it or if you want to quit you can just quit now this was the memory game for the color background you can have alphabet type of game so that is done based on the tiles instead of buttons we have tiles in this if you see here you can add a score since it is it is displaying the score at the console side so all you need to click on the so it is not matched this is b this is a this is not match this is e and this is f not match f and f it is match and c c no match it's g and j i have seen somewhere j So you need to remember the tile which has the same alphabet and finally you got it. So you can find out the score in the add on that and I missed so many hits. So this is how the memory game. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and for any kind of question, assistance and source code, please send an email to kickcrunch2019 at gmail.com. Stay tuned for more upcoming interesting videos. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.